and we cannot see what he's doing because why? We are not at the level yet to impress someone. She called him Levi. Proceed, Madam God, please. She cuts it. This woman is blessed with it. Because she's the hated one. Can I just be open here for a minute? Man of God. We, beyond that, we never do that. That will not go on that road. But let's go back in the century. Having two wives and you hate one. Apparently, it's the one you love the more you will have fellowship with. Right? Right? So maybe he's obligated once a time, to once a month to see Leah. And every time he goes, she gets pregnant. And she, 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 she's, she's not able to recognize that God is doing something. And, and many of us are depressed because we are looking at other people's stuff and we don't see what we have. Can I make a statement here? Praisers are not depressed people. You cannot be a praiser and be depressed. Why? Because praise comes from a positive place. God is blessing this woman and she's in depression. Why? Because a man is not paying her any attention. Tell your neighbor, shift your focus. And she conceived and bore a son. And she said, now will I praise who? So since this man ain't paying me any attention, might as well I turn my attention to the one who opens up my womb. I will bless the Lord at all times. I may not be driving now, but there's still strength in my leg. I can walk. I can bless him. Do you understand when David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. You understand what he's saying? As long as there is breath in my body, that is enough. Some of you are stressing over jobs, but you're gaining weight. Ain't working, but well fed. And you're stressed out because someone is driving that and you desire it. You need to check your heart. She says, let me take my attention of this man because I have given him three sons and he paid me any attention. Let me go. So can we go back to Genesis 49 now? Because we want to say, why then will he only pay attention? Because you need to understand, these are all the woman's son that she hate. he hates. These are Leah's boys. He doesn't like the mother. So Reuben was cursed. Simon and Levi was cursed. But when Jacob saw Judah, he had no other option but to bless. Why? Because the boy name was not given for his attention but for God's glory. And whoever God bless, no man can curse. God says, I have, I, 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 the prophet says, I receive a commandment to bless and I cannot reverse it. I want to tell you, if you are bought by the blood of Jesus, you are the surmount of blessings and it's hanging over your head. And I don't care what curse, what witchcraft what family members have your blessing i am here today in open fire to tell that devil to let your blessings go because my name is judah i am a praiser my name is judah i am a praiser i have more than enough to praise god things are not well in my life but jesus is in my life that is enough i am a praiser tell my voice today god please understand believers please understand now so we are in judges and the Bible tells us that Joshua is dead. And, 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 and there's some Canaanites and, and Perizzites are, are, are taking possession of what is rightfully yours. And the 
Bible said the people consulted God and said to God, who must go up first to fight? And the Bible said that God spoke and said, send who? Judah. Why? Because there's some stuff that's attached to Judah. There's some blessings that is released. And whatever is said, it must come to pass. Minister Pink, would you come here for a minute? Because you need to understand, we have some weapons that we are not using well. The Bible said, one of the blessings, you will have a hold of your enemy's neck. So you don't understand when you are coming of God. I don't want to kill you, I promise you. When, uh, when you're holding, when you're praising God, you're holding the enemy's neck. Hold on. But how much of us is saying, but I'm praising God and things are getting harder and rough. Anybody have been there? You're doing what? Because you need to understand praise. It's not only shouting hallelujah. It means to reverence God. It means if you're walking in obedience, you are praising God. Yes, amen, amen. All the what? The enemy is what? Yes. So if I'm squeezing Minister Pink's Weapons neck. Weapons that we are not using well. The Bible said one of the blessings, you will have a hold of your enemy's neck. So you don't understand when you are command of God. I don't want to kill you, I promise you. When, uh, when you're holding, when you're praising God, you're holding the enemy's neck. Hold on. But how much of us is saying, but I'm praising God and things are getting harder and rough. Anybody have been there? You're doing what? Because you need to understand praise is not only shouting hallelujah. It means to reverence God. It means if you're walking in obedience, you are praising God. Yes, amen, amen. All the what? The enemy is what? Yes. So if I'm squeezing Minister Pink's neck and he figure out that he's going to die, what do you think he's going to do? So anytime you are praising God and it gets tougher, it just tell you your blessing is on the way. I dare somebody to find another hallelujah. I dare somebody to just wave your hands. I dare somebody to say I'm holding on because God has spoken it. So Minister Pink. I am not motivated when there's trouble in my life. I sing praises to God with understanding because I recognize I'm killing the enemy. You want to talk, devil? Hallelujah. You want to fire me? Praise the Lord. You want to walk out of me, baby? God is good because anytime I praise God, Man of God, we don't understand that God is addicted to praise. Why? The Bible says he inhabited in the praises of his people. So if I'm going to, I go open my mouth. And when God shows up, there is no devil on earth that can be my God. The Bible declares if God is for us, then who can be against us? Come on, open your mouth. So he recognized, and the Bible said that Judah went. He called Simeon, said, Sim, come help me. And when the fight, I help you fight back. And the Bible said Judah went up, and God gave them and defeated the Canaanites and the Perizzites. You need to understand that the Perizzites were not Judah's enemy, but Simeon. But because Simeon joined with the praiser. His parasites were also defeated. We don't understand, man of God, the privilege that God gives us. Why? You need to recognize something. That if God speak it, he doesn't go back on it. Because if he goes back, he's going to make him a liar. And every time you see war, God says, send the praisers. So they're at Jericho. They're at uh, Jericho, right? Remember Jericho story, Joshua 6? They're at Jericho. 
and, 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 and the Lord told him, don't make any noise, just walk on the wall. But the Bible said the horns were blown. So it was not every day of silence. No, there was noise. Or the oil was being blown. Praises was being given. And, and while praises were given, the people were not saying things. Just those who need to blow the oil, blow the oil. And all their job was to walk around the wall. Man of God, many people think walking around the wall that, that nothing was being done. I'm sitting in a barber shop in Jamaica. And I'm in the chair, and there's a party that's keeping not too far. And the, the Minister Pink, you know what I'm talking about, the vibration from the boxes. <sighs> we're, we're shaking. It was shaking the roof in the barbershop. And the Lord said to me, son, I said, yes, God. He said, many people think that when my people were walking around Jericho, that nothing was happening. We, we think that the miracle happened on the last day. No, the Lord said to me, the very vibration from their feet had already messed up the foundation of the wall. So when the shout was given, the wall had no other option but to come. So I might not see the change now, but I'm going to bless him. And if the war gets hotter, it tells me my blessing is on the way. Come on, tell somebody, I am a praiser. And you need to understand something. A praiser is a harm and dangerous individual. The atomic bomb has nothing on you. Open up your mouth, somebody, and shout glory. time there is a war God send the praises and Jehoshaphat second chronicles 20 they're on the hill and they come out they spoke with God and God says all I needed to do get the praise as Jehoshaphat and praise me that's all because when you are praising God will send ambushmen to take care of your adversaries So tomorrow morning, when you go on the job, that you know they don't like you but the much, just walk in and say, I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Where are you? I'm in a service, man. Judah, where are you? Hallelujah! I have exhausted my time. But I want to challenge you with something. I went to a church, a girl, she was not a Christian. And I talk about the power of praise. The next day I got a message. For two days later, I got a message online. And the young lady said to me, Sir, I don't go to church. But for some reason I came to church that day and you preach. I said, Sir, I went home and I closed my doors. Let me tell you my story. She said, I'm with my fiance, but I'm, I'm with another guy. Because none of us are working. That's the only way money comes in the house. I don't want to do that. She said, sir, the landlord said I need to leave. She said, sir, I'm without a job. But after you preach, I went to him and I closed the doors in the house. And I start walking back and forth, shouting praises to God. She said, sir, I praised God until I was tired. And I went to my bed. He goes, basa. This child is not saved, but you need to understand that everything that heart bread, praise the Lord. The, 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 child, the child said, she said, I woke up by a phone call. Someone said, miss, we have your application. You are qualified for the job. Are you still interested in it? She said, sir, I put my clothes on and I went to the work. While I was on the job, a company who denied me months ago called me and said, do you still want the job? She said, sir, when I came off that phone call, and I had another call, and a friend said to me, you and your family pack up and come and live in this house. 
She said, I don't have any money. He said, did I ask you about money? The house is yours. And if a sinner can apply the word and God move, what much more me who has a legal right who is born by the blood of Jesus. I challenge someone today to look at something the devil is blocking up for you. Open up your mouth and go and get it. Choke that devil out until he's dead. Come on, praise God and get your son, get your marriage back, get the anointing back, get that job back, get that door open, open up your mouth and shout hallelujah, I will bless him at all times, silver and gold belong to my father, they know can I walk around broke, I'm going to pull some silver, I'm going to pull some gold, hallelujah. How can I be walking around with sickness in my body when by his stripes I am healed? I'm going to pull some healing today. Hallelujah! Every word that Judah went up, he won. And the scepter, Judah was the carrier of the scepter that handed over to Jesus. It was the tribe of Judah who carried this anointing, who handed over to the child Jesus when he came. The Bible said the poor will not leave Judah house until Shiloh come, until the Messiah shows up. You need to understand this. Then it means that Jesus automatically identify himself with the praises. And can somebody bless the Lord today and watch God work a miracle in your life? I decree and declare if you're sick in your body and you praise God now, I command your body to be made whole. I command excess swellings to come down diabetes, arthritis cancer, I curse you in the name of Jesus I decree and declare and if you're sending applications and they haven't answered you yet well I praise God and ruffle up the files I decree and declare may your application come on top I decree and declare you employed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth come on praise him I speak to every Jezebel, every Delilah, every unwanted spirit, every curse, every witchcraft that lock your mind up, lock your family up. I decree and declare this day under the anointing, I command it to come down from off your life. I decree and declare that from this moment you're walking in power, you're walking in authority. I decree and declare you are nation changers, you are atmosphere change. I declare and declare that your son is being released. Your daughter is being released. Your money is being released. Your property is being released. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that from this day, open fire international fashion will never be the same. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. 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 The Holy Ghost said, so if Jesus bruised the head of the serpent, and I'm now free and delivered, and greater is he is in me than it is in the world. So the next time you put up, put it down, just crush that devil head. Don't only shake him, but crush his head. I decree and declare what is yours is yours. From this moment, you're walking in power. You're walking in authority. I decree and declare you are nation changers. You are atmosphere changers. I decree and declare that your son is being released. Your daughter is being released. Your money is being released. Your property is being released. 
in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that from this day, open fire international fashion will never be the same. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. 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 The Holy Ghost said, so if Jesus rules the head of the serpent, and I'm no free and delivered, and greater is here is in me than it is in the world. So the next time you put up, put it down, just crush that devil head. Don't only shake him, but crush his head. I decree and declare what is yours is yours. Stretch your hands up. Let me hand back this way, come pull over. By the power and the authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare everything that you should have received. That some parasites and Canaanites, some curse in your family, some stuff that your daddy said, some things your mother spoke out of her emotion that rest hurt upon your spirit and in your life to keep you buried. I decree and declare that this day under the great anointing of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare that no longer it will walk with you in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare if you're out of line, we pull you into right line today in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare everything that God declare is yours, is yours. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Everything your daddy did not achieve, I decree and declare you'll walk into the blessing your father, your grandfather have missed. I decree and declare in this ninth month I command a burden in your spirit. I decree and declare what is yours is yours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare no more luck, no more confusion, no more sickness. I declare I command the heavens to be opened up in the name of Jesus. Speak deliverance to your spirit. Speak you. We'll go back to your homes. And you and your house shall be safe. I decree and declare that you'll walk upon your job. And the glory of God will take it over. Man of God, I see a great harvest coming. And I release strength and wisdom upon the workers. That when the harvest comes, you will not lose the crop. And I decree and declare as this harvest comes, so open fire will multiply and multiply and multiply not only in numbers but in the wisdom and the strength your life will reflect the life of Jesus Christ the next time you open your mouth lift your hands the devil is going to be in serious trouble and I decree and declare over your life Go and give hell what it deserves. Hell.